Digital financial services have been a key driver of financial inclusion over the past several years. The COVID-19 pandemic has also amplified uh, the trend to use digital channels to access uh, financial services, but a rise in cyber attacks has also been noted uh, during the pandemic, thereby impacting on user trust. It was observed that there is a lack of consistent approach among application developers to implement uh, measures against systemic vulnerabilities. These inconsistent approaches indicate a variety of practices and different levels of risk exposure that needs to be addressed. In this respect, the Fiji Security Infrastructure and Trust Working Group led by ITU has developed over a dozen knowledge resources in the form of technical reports, uh, technical standards and developer resources that are available to both uh, DFS regulators and DFS providers to promote trust and build confidence among users. The working group has focused its work not only on the vulnerabilities and threats to the telecom infrastructure and testing of DFS applications, but also pertaining to domains such as risk arising from the use of emerging technologies such as fintech and artificial intelligence, the use of strong authentication technologies and EKYC use cases, a measurement of quality of service parameters for mobile network for optimal user experience for digital financial services, and identify skills and competences for users to be able to uh, make uh, effective use of DFS in a safe way. So a coordinated, in addition to the above, a coordinated and systematic approach to managing cybersecurity threats is proposed to DFS regulators and providers through the DFS Security Assurance Framework and the testing of DFS uh, applications in the security lab that was established uh, by the ITU. In this respect, as you can see, a comprehensive end-to-end -end security approach is therefore proposed to regulators and DFS providers through the deliverables of the working group. So the COVID-19 pandemic has led to more people to transact using digital channels, making fintech ever more important in emerging economies. However, to drive financial inclusion alongside that growth, big improvements will need to be made to the security and resilience of emerging economies, financial technologies, infrastructure. Under the Fiji, uh, the ITU established uh, the DFS uh, Security Lab, which aims to enable emerging economies to better address security challenges for digital finance and provide access to financial services through trusted, resilient infrastructure and secure applications. The main objectives of the DFS Security Lab our focus around six main areas. Provide guidance to DFS regulators in assessing the cybersecurity risk to the digital financial services infrastructure using the tools and reports developed by the Security Infrastructure and Trust Working Group. Uh, engage in collaboration with DFS regulators to conduct security audits of DFS applications based on USSD, SDK, and Android, uh, promote the adoption of international standards in securing digital financial services. For example, uh, the use of developer resources available at the DFS Security Lab with regards to uh, FIDO uh, implementation for strong consumer authentication. Uh, establish information sharing mechanisms on security incidents and vulnerabilities in, in digital finance uh, with DFS regulators and DFS providers. Conduct assessments on cyber preparedness among the DFS ecosystem stakeholders uh, to better respond to cyber security incidents and organize security clinics targeting security professionals 
for staying up to date on new vulnerabilities and mitigation measures. So the DFS Security Lab provides uh, this, the resources that I mentioned just above to telecom and financial services regulators in emerging economies, as well as uh, to DFS providers. Thank you.